was not how I was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now the battery is starting. All right. How do you turn the acro mode? Uh, usually, I have to flip a switch, which I don't, um, because I cannot fly in acro mode. Yeah. Oh. So, as you can see here, that's what I told you. Our oh, first thing, if I crash like this, um, just two zip types ripped off and that's all. And also, if the forces are too strong, these arms can just move back. So they absorb a lot of energy this way. And also, the next thing is what I told you about the tail. When I move around, when I, for example, turn or the wind is trying to turn me, the, uh, rear, the tail is just trying to counter-react to that. So make it more obvious like this. So I turn and it really tries to force the tail into a certain direction because uh, it can actually move it. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, that's about it. Why not? No, what's going on? Why did you not record that? I did. <laughs> okay. Not a good idea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> so awesome. So as you can see here on the back, there is this uh, server I was uh, talking about. And when when you do like the jaw movement like this, so around this axis here, it will actually try to counter react to this movement. The idea is to when the wind, for example, blows the tail away, um, that it can actually counter steer, so that it actually gets uh, stays stable as long as as the wind is moving it, it will kind of counter steer. And I can control it myself a little bit more, and it's it will still counter steer. So this way, it's able to turn. Uh, without the servo, it will just spin all the time. All right, that's about it. Thank you very much. Is it really hard to control that? Uh, it is kind of hard to control, but it's it's actually very easy to learn.